Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. I hope those are watching this tutorial doing great and having good health. Uh, welcome to the second class of uh, a wave, a wave and sound actually, because in this total playlist, I shall upload the series of videos to make you understand this chapter completely. And um, I'm just saying it that these quantities, the understanding of these quantities will lead you to know this topic and the content completely. So I said that each and every one, please try to know the definitions and the, the, the applications and the concept of these quantities. So this is very important. In my previous class, I explained about the definitions, types and characteristics of waves. And in this tutorial, think about the complete vibration first, and then the time period, then the frequency, amplitude, phase, wavelength and wave velocity. These are very easy actually but to make it clear I'm just uploading this tutorial. Complete vibration means what? It means suppose you know about tuning fork. It looks like this. So the tuning fork if I make it like strike it and then if you see that it will vibrate like this. So that means that vibration creates sound and that sound is moving to our ears through a medium. So that vibration, if you see that, that suppose after striking it, it's moving from this place and then it comes to this place. And then this movement will create a vibrations. So if I say that in this point, when it was coming here, it was A and then it was C. So the complete vibration means when uh, wave transmitting particles, wave transmitting particles start to move from one place and then if it comes again in the same place, then it calls a complete vibration. So from if these the part is coming from A to C and then coming back to C to A. That is known as a complete vibrations. Similarly, if you see that in the transverse wave, what's going on? In the transverse wave, if you see that from this point to this point, it means a, a complete vibrations. Because if you see the phase, of the wave transmitting particles and these wave transmitting particles are same so it means this is a complete wave or complete vibrations so the definition of complete vibration is if the wave transmitting particles started from one place and then after it if it comes again to the same point then it's known as a complete vibrations secondly the time period time period it means time and it's denoted by capital T and the unit of time period is second. So what is the definition of time period? That means the time that is required for completing one complete vibrations. So I will say that these vibrations, if I say that it requires 0.02 second, that means Within 0.02 seconds, the tuning fork was able to complete one vibrations. So that means this is the time period of this tuning fork. So the two time period, this is a very simple definition that the time that is required to complete one vibrations by any wave transmitting particles. It can be sound, it can be water, it can be anything, it can be tuning fork. It can be longitudinal, uh, transverse wave also. So whatever, the time required for completing one vibration is the time period of that vibration or that wave. Third is frequency. Frequency means how many times per second. That means, uh, frequency means uh, the number of the number of complete vibrations per second that is frequency and we should know that frequency is denoted by small f frequency not the capital f that is force but small f and the unit of this frequency is hertz so that is h 
z. So if I say that I complete the time requires when the number of vibrations per time. So if I say that that the frequency, the unit is, it can be like uh, per second, per second or uh, oscillations, oscillations, oscillations per second or you can say that the vibrations per second, vibration per second. So usually we can say that if the frequency, that means the number of vibrations is done per one second, that is the frequencies and the frequency is denoted by small f and the unit is hertz. Now we think about oh, one thing that this f is known as hertz or you can say per second as it, the unit of is hertz because it just per second how much or how many vibrations uh, performed or completed per second that is the frequency of the vibrations amplitude amplitude means the the longest distance covered or uh, the longest distance from the equilibrium of any wave think about this one if you see that this is the highest peak from this equilibrium and this is the lowest highest I mean the downwards so if you see that peak is known as crest it is known as crest so this is very important and the lowest is another peak is known as trough trough so you see that each peak and each trough is created a one complete vibration so the longest distance from uh, the longest distance of wave transmitting particles from the equilibrium positions is known as amplitude so amplitude can be upwards and downwards so the highest peak of upwards is known as crest and the lowest peak is known as trough okay so this is amplitude so amplitude means the longest distance from the equilibrium position of the wave transmitting particles think about phase the phase is the instantaneous condition of a wave particles in any any option so anywhere we can say this is another phase this is another phase this is the phase so where the phase is similar if you see this in one complete vibrations the phase of this crest or phase of this crest are similar so this phase and this phase are same and similarly this phase are also same if I do not seem to do like an alphabetic order so that uh, it would be more easier so if I draw a transverse wave and if we say that this is uh, suppose A and this point is known as B this point C this point D here is E, here is F, here is G, and there is H, and there is I. So now you see that which conditions or which alphabet shows the same phase of the wave transmitting particles. You see here A, C, it's not C, A, E, and I are same. So you can say that A, E, and I are same. But you see, C and G are same. So you can say C and G are same. And also, you see B, F are same. B, F, in this case, D and H are same. So why we can say that where phase is similar, I mean the instantaneous condition of a wave transmitting particles is known as the phase of those particles. So A, the condition of A, E and I are same because you see the condition of I is upwarding, this I is same and this A is same. So that is why A, E and I are the same phase, not C and E. C and G would be the same phase. So I hope you understand the definition of phase also. The instantaneous condition of wave transmitting particles in a medium is known as the phase of that particles. Six, very important, wavelength. 
what is the wavelength the wavelength is the length between two same phase that means very simple the wavelength is like from B to F so we can say that wavelength is expressed by what we must know that wavelength is expressed by lambda that lambda is written in this way which is known as lambda and the unit of lambda usually meter because it's the length so lambda would be expressed by this sign and the unit is meter so what is lambda if I say lambda that a to e that length is lambda a to e or even c to g again again another wavelength c to g if you say that e to i again another wavelength again another wavelength so a to e e to i and c to g there is the wavelength because it's the distance between the two similar phase even we can say that b f is the wavelength so we must know when some data will be given in the question paper we must recognize what is the length wavelength of the wave or of the vibrations suppose in this case it was given that uh, e to f e to f is 0 0.2 millimeter suppose e f is given 0 0.2 millimeter and the question is what is the wavelength of this wave so we know that e to f is what from e to i is the complete wavelength so e to i is the complete wavelength but you see it's the combination of e f f g g h h i so we can say that e f plus f g plus g h plus h i is the combination of e i so i have been given only the one fourth distance of the length so this is one fourth this is half this is one third total and this is the total distance so you can say that 0 0.2 times 4 millimeter is the wavelength which is 0 0.8 millimeter and we need to express it into meter so that is 0 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter or we can say 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter I'm just giving you a very simple example and this type of questions is very common in a question paper and coming up with this type of questions explosions but before going to explain that you need to know the concept of this wave related quantities completely accurately so I hope you understand why this is 8 into 10 to the power minus 4 it's all about the scientific no prefix think about wave velocity the definition of velocity is the velocity is the distance covered by per time so per second I mean per second how much the distance is covered by the wave so uh, the wavelength is denoted by lambda and velocity similarly like V so the unit of lambda is meter and V is meter per second as because this D or the, the the velocity actually expressed by v we know it from the previous knowledge so v is actually d by t as d is meter per second so i hope you understand the definition of wave velocity so uh, let me know that you are actually clear about these because we need to know a lot of mathematics and uh, of course we need to know the definite the relationship between the time period and the frequency you know the time period means the time required for one complete vibrations and frequency means the number of vibration done per second so if I say that t time was required for one vibrations 
So if I say the t second is required for one vibration, so in one second, how many vibrations was done? One by t, and that is actually the frequency. So you can say that small f or frequency is the opposite quantities of time period. Just f is one by t. So you can say that t second is the time period. So I say that t second is required for one complete vibrations. So one second is one by t. That is the frequency. That means frequency means the number of vibrations or the oscillations per second. So clear? We know about complete vibrations. We know about time period. It's expressed by capital T and unit is second. Frequency expressed by small f, but the unit is hertz or per second. So hertz is like h e r h e r t z. And we know about amplitude, the longest distance of a wave transmitting particles from uh, the the equilibrium state. Amplitude, we know that definition of phase is instantaneous condition of a wave transmitting particles in a wave. We know about wavelength lambda, that is the distance between the two similar phase and wave velocity is the distance traveled or distance traversed by a wave per second. That is why the unit of wave velocity is meter per second. So I hope you understand and of course you must be clear about this quantities first to, to do these mathematical calculations accurately. So I'm coming up with the next tutorial with the relations between V equal F lambda, you know that, and there are some sort of like mathematical problems uh, that we need to solve it. So coming up with the next video and put in the comments, uh, put me, you know, that what is your vibrations and your feedback. So I'm working for your betterment and of course I hope you will have your success. Take care. See you soon.